Hello, my name is Rajiv Bethune. I'm here to do a demonstration of Zebra 2, UHE's software synthesizer. So this synthesizer is geared towards electronic musicians or film scorers, anybody who needs nice deep evolving pads or leads, arpeggiators. Uh, it's also good to note that Hans Zimmer is a big fan of this if you're into uh, film composing. He's done The Dark Knight, Inception, things like that. And this synthesizer is featured heavily in those movies. The good thing about this synthesizer and the key feature of this is the fact that uh, if you're just starting out with synthesis or if you've, uh, you've been in it for a while, you can make patches that are as basic or as complex as you need them to be. For instance, if I was just going to start to make a patch, start with an oscillator, single oscillator, dual, quad, and sometimes just need to turn it up to 11. Got that. So with just one oscillator, you have something that's already sounding fat. Now, you have four oscillators that you can set like that. You also have four FM modulators, um, comb filters, wave shapers, uh, noise generators. So right now I'm just gonna put a, put a filter in. And just to show you, you have a bunch of choices here for filters. So even with just an oscillator and a filter, you can come up with some, uh, some interesting sounds. Now, if you were one of those people who wanted to get into multi-stage envelope generation, um, you can easily do that by clicking the MSEG button down here and selecting it with this knob. And you can draw your own you'd like down here or you can load up a preset which it comes with quite a few you can also download some more and to activate it just turn that on see it cycling through that and uh, it's giving you some interesting uh, interesting characteristics down here is where you can uh, change the the wave shape of your oscillator and you can also morph between so you have 16 uh, 16 steps here 1 to 16 so for instance if I if I like this wave right here um, So, I'm going to change this wave. We hit Alt, you can now morph between all 16 waves. So, not only is there your additive synthesis and your FM synthesis, Got a little bit of wavetable going on here as well. Um, also an ARP sequencer section down here, which can be activated in your uh, global, global mode. This synth really uh, has no limits. So that's the good thing about this synthesizer is uh, it's basic or it's, it, could be, it could be complex once you start building more, uh, more modules in here. Uh, all your generators will be on the, on the left side and your, uh, your modulators will all be on the right. Let's uh, get some more filters and All right, and that concludes my overview of Zebra 2. If you have any questions regarding Zebra 2, feel free to contact your sales engineer at Sweetwater and they will answer any question that you have regarding this.